Hi everyone, I'm Meng Yu with Xinhua News Agency. I'm now at Yiwu, East China's Zhejiang Province. There is a Yemeni doctor whose name is Amar, and this is his 24th year in China. So today we're gonna follow him, and uh, he will take us to visit and experience the digital and medical healthcare and service. This is Amar Al Badani. I'm a doctor who works here in the uh, Zhejiang University. School of Medicine's fourth affiliated hospital. This is what we call a 5G ambulance car. Uh -huh. Not only mentioning the uh, high equipment that we have in this car, we have uh, 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 the uh, ECG monitors, we have the B ultrasound, we have AR glasses. Uh -huh. Once you put on, the doctor puts on these AR glasses and then put on the uh, headphones, then they can free their hands and just focus on uh, saving lives and what he sees in his eyes actually can be seen and transmitted through 5G technology oh, to the doctors. The monitor here, right? Yes, by this monitor can be transmitted in real time to the doctors and experts in the hospital mm -hmm. so they can help and guide him to take the right decision. More than that, they can also know all the condition of the patient before reaching the hospital mm -hmm. so they can also make their own preparations. All these doctors in the hospital, they're supporting you, guiding you, and they're in a whole like recognition of the situation for the patient. The patient. A group of people is backing you up. <laughs> that's right, yeah. that's right. Okay, well cool. said. Mm -hmm. So this will uh, uh, greatly enhance the efficiency when you save uh, the patient, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. This is what we call self-service machine. So the patients, the making appointment for the doctors, they don't even have to go and stand in queue. You see? And then uh, whatever you, you brought with you, the ID cards, it can recognize the shabaka, the ID card. Uh, even though if you did not bring any of your IDs, you can also use the chafubao, the weixin, uh, and recognition the faces. This self-service machine not only helping the old people, and it's, all, it's also saving time for the whole process for people coming to the hospital. Now you input your, uh, your mobile number, that's my name. Right now I have already got my ticket for appointment. I guess it's within 10 seconds, right? Within a few seconds you can solve the problems that you need for a long time to go and ask so many people. Our main purpose is integrating high technology into saving lives. Mm -hmm. So this is how it works sometimes because of the traffic, because of the way far from the hospital, people cannot reach and we need to solve problems faster. Mm -hmm. So the drone can help us like, you know, bringing the samples from those small health units and then we can send the medications. Mobile CT vehicle is designed for those areas and districts in the city that they might need to have CT scan. That is a small hospital moving around the city and going to some places for a specific patients who we say they don't really have to come to the hospital. So we send that car, uh, that vehicle, inside there is a CT machine. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is, uh, I believe, is also a big ad advantage of the hospital. All the parameters, all the uh, numbers that we're getting from there, the data, it's high transmitted by the 5G technology again to the hospital. So all the records are, you know, well uh, uh, registered in the hospital. Yeah, I guess it's uh, a future trend that many technology, high-tech things will come to people's homes. Right? That's right. Yeah, we will benefit from it.